For this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a single chart that uses only one metric, but it has two number formats. First, let me explain what I'm talking about. Let's start by building a simple table that has product subcategory, sales, shipping cost, discount, and margin. You'll see that discount and margin are both percentages, and sales and shipping cost are both in currency. So what I want to do is I want to start by creating a parameter and let's just call this metric chosen. Or I'm going to actually call it select a metric. The idea here is I'm going to let my users pick a metric that they want to display. So I'm going to start by creating a list and let's start with uh, discount, margin, sales, and shipping cost. Okay, and now when we go ahead and we show this metric, again, it's not doing anything because we haven't told Tableau what to do with it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a calculated field based on that parameter. So I'm going to call this the metric value. I'm just going to do a simple case statement. I'm going to say when they pick discount, then the average discount. When margin, then the average margin. When sales, then the sum of sales. And when shipping cost, then the sum of the shipping cost. Okay, and now when I use this metric instead, so I'm going to take metric value and I'm going to put that in my table. And you'll see now as I switch it around, let me just go ahead and put it up here in the in the, the columns so we get a nice sorted chart here. Remove measure names and there we go. So now when I pick a different metric from the list, you'll see my chart changes. Okay, that's good. Maybe I'll, I always like to sort my bar chart, so I'm going to go ahead and sort this in descending order by the metric value. Okay, so, so, so far so good, but if I go ahead and show the labels here, you'll see that my discount and my margin both look kind of weird. I want those to be expressed as percentages, and I want sales and shipping costs to be expressed as dollars. I'm sorry, as, uh, as pounds. So to do that, um, I need to do a slight trick here. So I'm going to just first, I'm going to start by just duplicating the measure value. And this time I'll call it measure label. And this time what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and put a negative in front of the discount and the margin. The reason I'm doing that, you'll see in a moment. So hit OK there. And then I'll go ahead and put my metric label on there. Okay, so you'll see I've got negatives for margin and discount, and then positive numbers for sales and shipping costs. Okay, we're good so far. Now what I need to do is I need to do a little bit of custom formatting on this metric label field. So I'm going to go to default properties and then number format. And if I pick my custom currency and then I go down to custom, you'll see that it gives me this little format. But what I want to do is, uh, when you're doing a custom number format, you have both the option of a positive and a negative number. To use the negative number, you just simply put a semicolon, and then I'm going to put 0.0% because that's the format for a percentage. And what that's going to do is, anytime that it sees a negative, uh, a negative number in my for my label, it's going to turn that to a positive percent. So now, if I switch to sales, you'll see I've got my my nice little uh, euro sign, or I'm sorry, pound sign there. And if I switch to margin, I now get percentages. So pretty simple trick for, uh, for going ahead and setting up a, uh, a, a, a metric selector with a parameter, allowing the user to pick something, and then displaying that correctly in the, in the appropriate number format. So hopefully you find that useful. And until next time, have a good week.